cncmodeler.co.uk again. This is part two of the uh, GoPro sized gimbal upgrade. Um, this part is going to cover the teardown and disassembly. Uh, we'll see where we go from there. So to start with, um, I'm going to take the board off so I don't damage that. Um, so all we have on here is um, these cables. Uh, that's an additional um, ST connector that I've soldered on to power my video um, transmitter and that's the standard uh, uh, breakout cable to go on the uh, balance connector from a 3S LiPo. These are the three motor connections and this here is the connection that goes to all the way down to that board there. Okay. So, um, let's see we need to pull these. Connections. One, two, three. We also need to just gently ease out this connector. I definitely prefer to try and get the connector out um, without pulling the cables if I can. It's not always possible. There we go. Okay. And then. Uh, yeah, just uh, undo these connectors here. These screws, sorry, here. One, two, three, four. Uh, I found that these uh, are quite soft, so if you are taking them on and off again, um, be careful. So there you go, that's the Storm 32 controller. There you go, you can see the uh, specs. I don't know if you can read that at that distance or not. Okay, so now we have here, um, so this is my additional video cable, three uh, the one, two, three motor cables. Notice the first one doesn't go through the gimbal. Uh, and then this is the wire that goes down to the um, board down there. Now, the only thing I am going to struggle with is getting being able to replace these connectors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these off at each end and then reattach them, uh, solder them back on later. So there you go. So that's the uh, the first part of the teardown, taking the top board off. The second part is um, just removing this stub here that stops it going too far in any direction. Uh, one thing I have noticed with anything from China is that they tend to not have any Loctite on them at all. So as you can see, that's come away really easy. So I would really suggest that you uh, go through and strip anything that you buy from China and um, and Loctite it. So if we just have these, oh, wrong. these are Allen keys. Um, I use Allen drivers. They do supply an Allen key with the... Um, with the gimbal, one, okay. Okay. pull out each of these connectors one at a time, hopefully they'll go through, yeah they do, the video feed which isn't going to go through, so we'll just cut that. So um, what I'm going to do next is have a look at the bottom here. Now this um, piece here will come away. Hopefully that's dry. Actually, I don't need to take that away at the moment. I can leave that on there and um, take that off at a later stage so it doesn't get lost. Okay, so that's the first piece. Now. Obviously, we're going to have to cut these connectors off um, for each of the, the motors. That 
actually I need to um, record the uh, pinouts on this so uh, I will just press pause and I'll go and record the pinouts see you in a minute okay so we're back so what we've got is some uh, small pieces of heat shrink uh, so I've got uh, three different colors red blue and black and then the fourth wire I'll just leave without heat shrink on it. This is just to make sure that I don't um, lose which wires, which connections go where. So we'll do these, cut these one at a time. One. Uh, just for the record, these microtherm um, heat torches are really good for this. And the other end. Oh. That looks like that will go small enough, so I just flip it straight on. Burn my fingers. There you go. I'll do that for the other um, two wires, and I'll get back to you in a second. Okay, so I've done the other um, two wires with heat shrink, as you can see, all color coded. Cut this last one. There we go. And now at least I should know which wire goes where when I get to the point of um, reconnecting everything. Okay, so now all we've got to do is um, pull these wires down through. I'm going to pull these wires through last because obviously they've got heat shrinking on them, which I don't want to uh, damage. Okay, now you can see the um, bit of uh, tubing that they put in there just to try and protect the wires going through. So we have uh, a little ferrite core here, and that's protecting the, um, uh, the controller from interference from the motors and the camera and whatever else is down here. So we're just going to unwind that. It's still a bit tricky. You need to remember to put that back on. Uh, but as close to the board as possible, so it's not really ideal where it was there. Um, so we're putting that over the board um, because it was uh, still passing through one of the motors. So we need to sort that out next time, gently. There we go. As you can see, there's quite a lot of wire in this. I was quite surprised when I was running the, the video cables through how how long you need your wires to be to get through all these junctions. So there we go. There we go. So again, just pull these wires up through. Uh, some of the wires will stay with the motor, obviously. So we'll make, oh, three wires shorter. Three wires there go to that motor, and you can just you may be able to see the damage there on those wires. And last but not least, wires through here, so we should be able to just pull those two video feed wires back out of the way. Wiring all the way down. So hopefully that starts tearing down the motors now. I think we'll start at the bottom here. Take this platform off first. In fact, no. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll take the motor out first. Make it 
easier. Just undo that pinch bolt there. So that's now loose, and this motor will just slide right in. There we go. That's the uh, first part. Second motor, again, undo the pinch bolt. Again, no lock tight on these things at all, so no clicking out. There we go, part two. And these uh, just make this up so they don't lose the bolt. And down here. Notice you've got two settings on the, um, on the joint there. That's um, to allow you to balance the gimbal. Oh. Nobody saw that. Nothing to see here. My kids all love that bit. Okay, uh, so let's just put these bolts back in so we don't lose them. Always try and put bolts back in. So. Then we have a bracket and then I'll just put that over there. the bolt. So I'll put that down there. Some of these Allen keys um, bolts aren't exactly great. Um, the sockets don't seem to uh, be fairly standardised. driver doesn't actually fit very well anyway. okay well, sorry about that we've got a glitch with the camera so I've had to work back a little bit so uh, this is where we got to so um, just replacing these screws on the, uh, on the bracket just so they don't get lost And the uh, next one is this little bracket here. So that one off. It's those four screws. Because they're quite small, I think I'll just put those back in. I'll do that in a minute. Okay, so that's uh, motor number two. And motor number three, I'll just spin these out. I'm going to leave the uh, sensor attached to this bracket just to uh, make it a little bit more secure for the future. I just don't want it getting damaged. You can see there's another one of those little bits of sleeving. You, just, uh, you can't just pull out. Okay, so. Okay. So, there we go. That's it. Uh, Motor tear down, and the idea is that uh, once we've uh, got the uh, motors and everything oriented properly, we can run that through there. This is actually quite a snug fit, uh, which is good. I'll probably just need to tighten it down a little bit. 
but uh, effectively that's what's happened. So you can see the uh, motor spinning there, the outer casing spinning there, the wire's going round, and the wire's not going round here, so they'll get fixed on there. So that's the plan. There you go, that's the uh, Storm 32 uh, three axis GoPro gimbal stripped down complete. Next time we'll be um, sorting out some interface plates to change these motors around and um, uh, and take it from there. So, thanks very much for watching. This is Barry Marshall from cncmodeler.co.uk signing out. Cheers.